Stabilizing an ankle is about understanding a couple of different concepts, trying to remember what we're trying to accomplish when it comes to treating this type of injury. One of the things is we need to check CSMs, making sure that we have good circulation, sensation, and motion. The other one is building a supportive device that's going to allow your patient to walk out of the woods. And the third is thinking about what kind of motion we are trying to allow and what kind of motion we're trying to restrict. When a patient gets an ankle injury, it typically happens by the patient's foot moving in or out. That means when we stabilize this, we want to restrict that type of motion so that the foot doesn't go side to side, while allowing it to flex and extend so that the patient can actually walk out of the woods. Remember, whatever you're going to build here has a lot to do with what it's going to take to get your patient to move themselves out of the woods. You can do a lot of techniques in terms of stabilizing this, and some of you may want to tape this ankle. That's perfectly fine, but taping is a skill that you should practice if that's something you're going to do. I'm going to show you a technique that allows you to add some support to this ankle without needing to tape it. I'm going to take a cravat, folding it into that nice wide strip again. I'm simply going to lay it onto my patient's leg in an S formation. I take the tail on this side, come under the ankle, and up through the loop. Take the tail on this side, under the leg, and up through the loop. Now you want to add padding underneath this. Padding allows you to get compression. Compression allows you to get stabilization. I'm leaving the padding off so that you can see how this is going to work. You then continually tighten down these tails, making sure that you do it evenly and adjust it, moving it to where you need it on the ankle to provide that support. I want these tails to come out directly in the middle of the leg so that when they come around and form a stirrup, that they're in line with the bones of the leg. Come around the bottom, and just as before with every other knot, a simple knot. I can then put my patient's shoe or boot back on, and that will allow them to get out of the woods. Now, if your patient needs more support than this, you can add rigid items. Again, you could use a malleable splint and place it like a stirrup over the ankle using that same S technique to secure this on, as well as a few more ties. You could also use things like sleeping bags or poles to add some rigidity.